expansion in critical minerals financing. Is that needed? Well, look, I, I really welcome uh, the, the announcement, but the government uh, is not approving any new sites. Uh, the companies we're speaking to at the moment are taking capital away from Australia and not setting up new projects uh, and taking it, to, to, uh, taking it elsewhere in the, in the world. Uh, these are global companies. They've got limited capital uh, in their balance sheet and they will go where there's no risk. Uh, there's sovereign risk now for our country with very trusted partners like South Korea and the Japanese. And that is the first time that we've seen that. The industrial relations changes are sending a shiver down the spine of all of those mining companies and uh, they're now not proceeding with projects. So the government, on the one hand, hits the accelerator and then taps the brakes. Uh, and they don't have any commitment to the mining sector. And the people of Western Australia have woken up to this and realised that Tanya Plibersek and Chris Bowen and Anthony Albanese of the hard left of the Labor Party are no friends of WA uh, or the mining states otherwise. Uh, there's enormous wealth to be generated for our country. Uh, the silica plant in Western Australia is likely to close under Labor's energy policy. It's one of the key elements, of course, into solar panels. Uh, and the government has no regard for that whatsoever. Uh, and if we're going to close down manufacturing and make it harder for companies like this uh, to continue to operate, uh, it's no wonder people are switching off Anthony Albanese. And, and a lot of Australians are just asking themselves at the moment, where did Anthony Albanese go that I voted for in 2022? He's a completely different bloke and a shadow of his former self uh, and is making all sorts of decisions, but they're the wrong decisions for our country. And a Liberal government will clean up Labor's mess uh, and we'll make sure that we get our country back on track by helping families and small businesses. Thank you very much.